Jake's special delivery. Package ahoy, called Scully as a package washed ashore on Neverland. The name on the package was washed away, but Jake spotted a delivery map. Jake and the crew decided to deliver the package themselves. Meanwhile, that sneaky schnook, Captain Hook, was spying on Jake from aboard the Jolly Roger. He decided he wanted the package for himself. As the friends made their way through Never Jungle, Hook and Shmee swung in on the vine and grabbed the package. Ha! You puny pirates didn't see that coming, said Hook. Splash! Hook wasn't looking where he was going, and he fell right up into Hook Falls, a waterfall that went up instead of down. Hook and Shmee floated up the falls. At the top, Hook heard a familiar tick-tock, tick-tock. It was the tick-tock croc. Save me, Shmee, cried Hook. Let's ride up on this log and help him, said Cubby. Jake and the crew jumped onto a log and travelled up the falls. Gotcha! Jake hoisted Hook and Shmee onto the log, just in time. But as soon as they reached land, Hook took the package and tried to run down Bouncy Boulder Hill. Boing, boing. Hook and Shmee bounced on the bouncy boulders and dropped the package as they flew up into a tree. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have a delivery to make, said Jake, grabbing the package. The map led to Hook's treasure cave. Hook arrived at the cave and was furious. So you miniature marauders wanted to plunder me cave too, said Hook. Actually, this package really is yours, said Jake. The whole time you were swiping it from us, we were trying to deliver it to you. Hook opened up the package and it was filled with Mama Hook's famous sea biscuits. But the biscuits had been banged around so much there was nothing but crumbs left. Shmi ate one of the crumbs. They may be crumbly, but they're still tasty. Hook was so happy to have a present from his mum that he shared the sea biscuits with Jake and his crew. Crackers, those biscuits are great, said Scully.